Hey everybody, it's Pete here from The Sunday Drive, and next to me I have my Exocet. If you haven't seen our prior video showing what this is exactly, I suggest you go check it out. It's, um, it's a heck of a car. Basically, it's a 1.8 uh, Miata-powered um, death trap with a turbo, don't forget that. I'm gonna be performing my first modification on this thing. I need to raise the car up, and by doing that, um, I'll get a little bit more ground clearance, and I'm gonna be fixing the geometry of the front suspension. The spacers we're gonna be installing are from Exomotive and they are produced specifically to alleviate the problem that occurs when you take springs from a Miata and put them on the Exocet. So essentially the car is sitting too low and the front geometry of this is going, um, is a little bit off. If you look, these tie rod ends should be more parallel to the ground um, also, the control arms should be more parallel to the ground, so, I mean, the car is drivable. It's a little bit too low for my liking. It does scrape. The subframe will hit. The spacers go on top of the springs and shocks or struts, um, and they'll sit right on top between the frame and the suspension. After that, we're going to have to get the front of the car realigned, and hopefully we can get this done before tomorrow, because if so, I'll be competing in my first track day, or participating, I wanna say, and it's not really a competition. Another thing that needs to be done, and this is gonna be a later video, is this wing needs to be cabled down. So I'm gonna use tension cable, tension wire, to go from the wing mounts over here to the frame and crisscross. So I'm gonna crisscross those cables to provide more rigidity to this wing. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive this beast over to my buddies, and we're gonna uh, get started on it. Hey guys, all right, so we're at Dino's house right now. Dino is a friend of mine. He is owner of Speed Circuit, which is a company that um, builds, tunes, um, and does all kinds of other car-related stuff. So behind me is his Exocet. Behind that Exocet, is my exoset. Oh, yep, there it is. Hey. Now, I really like Dino's, to be honest. I love his setup. It's black, it's menacing, it's called the Death Machine. Now, just by looking at Dino's setup, it's obvious that his tie rod ends and his control arms are a lot more parallel to the ground, which is how they should be, because of the spacers right up there. So that's what we need to put on my car. It will lift the car up a little bit, which I prefer anyway, because it already sits so low. Here is everything that you get when you purchase these Exomotive spacers. Um, these are just bare metal. You can get them powder coated for, I think $165 you can get these powder coated. I don't know if you can choose a color, maybe if you call them. I got mine uncoated, they were $125. That included shipping, so awesome. Obviously you'll get a bag of hardware. So you got some bolts and nuts here. So these smaller ones, they'll actually go in the back, in the rear. And then you have the two front spacers. And I'll go ahead and measure these. This is the, the highest point, about two inches. So now these two inch spacers will go in the front. Okay, so behind me, I have my Exocet jacked up and I'm going to start pulling the bolts for the suspension. But before I get to that, I wanna show you a little bit more information about the front spacers. Now the front spacers are left and right specific, so you do not put the wrong spacer on the wrong side. Uh, these, if you look, the top has two holes and the bottom has three holes. One, two, three. Now, you want the two hole side to be facing back and out. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the top nuts from these shocks. This nut right here is a 14 millimeter socket. Right. 
All right, so what I did was I actually raised up both sides of the car and I disconnected the front sway bar and links. Right here. Dino hooking me up with the black spray paint. Mmm. We need these two holes to be. Okay. We did the inner hole. That's right. That's right. Okay. So the front spacers are uh, left, right specific. You want the double holes to be on the bottom facing the rear of the car and out. So this nut flange is hitting the weld right here. To this gap. Put the bushing? No, you put the bushing on and there's like a little spacer, like a washer, and then the pin goes in. I just installed the front spacers on this exoset and I was going to install the rear spacers which we haven't done yet but even without the rear spacers installed it looks like the car is sitting level. Uh, Dino just measured the front and the back and he said it's six inches in the front and six inches in the back. Okay, so we've lowered the car and the front is sitting at six inches high from this reference point and the back is sitting at six inches high. So the car is level front and back wise. Now, honestly, I think I might not install the rear spacers because by installing them, the car will have a forward rake and that will take more weight off of the rear wheels and personally I think that the more of a bias that we can get over the rear wheel the better traction we'll have so I'm gonna keep the rear spaces off and go for a test drive to see how you know the car feels but as for right now that is how you install the front spacers on an exoset if we need to install the rear spacers I will put together a video of that but it's pretty much identical same process, not very difficult, you know, this is like a one out of three stars for difficulty. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up if you found this video to be helpful, and have a good one guys. So, because that, I, in the past, I posted a thread in the group where I was like, what if you just run the front page Okay, well I just said that because I was thinking that, I was like, this, put the rear spaces on.